Okay, now what we're going to do is cover basic defense. And we're going to cover some basic defensive maneuvers to the double and single leg tackle. The thing you want to keep in mind about defense is that it starts from your stance position. Okay? If you're in a good stance position, when you're wrestling someone, this is good defensive position. Hands in close to your body. Head up, knees flexed, and in a position so that you can shoot as well as defend. When you think defense, you think three lines of defense. The first thing is your head. The first thing he has to get through is your head. The next thing would be your hands. Okay, if he gets through your hands, then you start to use your hips. And that's where we are now. When the opposition shoots in, say on a double leg tackle, okay, he shoots in on a double leg tackle here, the first thing you should think about as far as defense is concerned is sprawling. Just a basic sprawl. But the key to a sprawl is how you use your hips. We're going to use what I call hip inversion. You get your legs back as quick and as far as you can get it. That way you can stop his initial shot into you or his initial attack. Okay, hip inversion. Okay, a lot of times wrestlers will sprawl and the hips will be up in the air. What we want to do is invert the hips this way so that we can get maximum pressure on the opposition. And as, as long as you can stay in this position, he's going to have a tough time finishing either a single or a double leg tackle. Okay. Now, from this position, if he's in on a double leg tackle, the first thing we think about doing is working to a cross face. Okay? So you get your hips back, you get, get your hips low to the mat. You can put a lot of pressure on his shoulder and his back by inverting your hips this way. That's important. You're stretching out and you're moving on your toes as you, as you shoot your hips down to the mat. Now, the first thing we're going to do, if he's working for a double, is come under his face and do what we call a basic cross face. Once you do this, now you can reach for his far ankle or his near ankle. Okay? Just turn around so what the people are doing. Okay, you're in this position here. I have a cross face. You can reach for this angle or this far angle and start to move behind. As you start to move behind, you don't want to bring your hips back up in the air as you start to move behind. That's going to give him a chance to pull you back into his body and control your hips. So, you keep your legs way back, you keep your hips in, you have your cross face. Now, when you start to move, you take short, copy steps as you move behind him for your takedown. Okay. Another basic thing that you can do when a man shoots in on a double or a single leg tackle for that matter is a simple wizard. This is one of the best defensive tools you can use when a man shoots in on a double or a single. Okay, because he can be in fairly deep and you can still stop him from finishing his takedown. Basically, what we're talking about is the same type of hip position. But say he starts to move in and starts to pull you in. Right now, you're going to use this arm to come around under his armpit and get into what we call a wizard position. Let's okay, this way. Once you get into this wizard position, okay, the first thing you try to think about is coming back out front if possible. Here, you block him from taking you down. You walk your legs back out front and get your hips away from him. That way, that lessens his chance of finishing his takedown. Okay, now, say he starts to pull you in and starts to move into this position here. Okay, you keep your wizard in. The first thing I like to do from this position is use my hips. We're going to wizard hard forward looking away from him and use your hips to bump him down to the mat. That's the position you want to get him in. Now, once you've done that, you can reach across and grab his wrist or his forearm and drive into him and put him towards his back. If you're wrestling a wrestler that's really good, you're not going to be able to get him on his back in most cases. So what you have to do is, is try to get back to a, at least an equal position. So we're hipping here. We're hipping him. Say we can't get him all the way down. What we're going to do is go to what we call a thigh pry. Here, right here and we move back out towards the front, this way, so that we can face him again. Those are some basic things you can do with the wizard. 
But the key thing is that if he shoots in on a double leg tackle, is to get your legs back first. If he starts to gain control, then you have to go to a wizard position. Now we try to hit, we hit hard and drag him over to his side. Right here. Okay? If that doesn't work, what you want to try to do from here is get back even. So, side cry, keep your hips low, and walk back out front. Okay, those are some of the basic things you can do to stop a double leg tackle. Now let's talk about the single. Okay, Rick shoots in on a single leg tackle. Okay, say head to the inside. Okay, the first thing again we're, we're going to think about is what we do with the hips and the legs. The first thing is, is fall back hard. Hips into it. Invert your hips. If you can do this, you can put a lot of pressure on him and make it very difficult for him to finish his takedown. What you're doing is stretching his body out from this position. All right, now, here's where we're going to try to turn this defense into a takedown. The first thing I like to look at is his hands. Once you get your body stretched out here, if you can reach up and grab his hands, keep your hips inverted, you might be able to just crawl around like this and go around for your takedown. Okay? So that's one. You're going to look for his hands. The second thing we're going to do, okay, we get the hips back again. If you can't break his grip, you might just come under for a cross face. All right, now, you get your hip inversion again. You can grab his near ankle or his far ankle, hip inversion, short choppy steps, and move behind. Keep your hips low to the mat as you take your short choppy steps to move behind him. Okay, now, Rick is in on a single. Say he gets in, in fairly deep this time. What we're going to do is go to what we call a waist throw. He's in nice and deep. His knees are close uh, to my body which makes it more difficult for me to defend. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is control Rick in this position by going around his waist as deep as we can with this hand, okay? Now, from here, what we're gonna do is try to keep his head down and to the inside. From here, what we're gonna do is step up, block off this forearm, and do what we call a waist throw. As you do this, you're gonna post the arm and throw his waist towards the mat. Now, he, say he keeps the leg here. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to do one of two things. We're going to bring our body up, go over the top of his, and take the leg back. Say he keeps the leg. Okay, now, what you do from here is grab the elbow, either back here or in front. Lift and then take the leg back when you finish. Okay, again. He's in on the leg, go deep around his waist, we're going to step up, we're going to block his head in, we're going to block his arm in. As we do that, we're going to post, post, throw him to the mat. Try not to take your own body and own back towards the mat as you throw him, okay? So from here, you're going to raise your body up, you come across, take the leg back. Now, if he hangs on to the leg, you grab his elbow, okay, let's turn around for this, what we're doing here. Okay, you grab his elbow this way or this way and take your leg back. Now you're in a reverse half position or a regular half Nelson. Okay. Okay, Rick is in on a single leg tackle again. Okay, we get the legs back again. Okay, now we're going to do the same waist throw. Block the head in, you step up, you block his arm, post, throw him to the mat. Now, we want to beat him by doing this. Rotate your hips up this way, over to the other side. You can reach down and grab his arm this way and belly down and get your take down. Or you can reach up and grab his head this way, belly down and face him that way to get your take down. So those are two ways that you can beat him if he has the leg tight.